Hi! I'm sure we all know and have heard about the issue that's going on with Olaplex. So I've been using Olaplex for a while now and I have not had any um, issues with it. So I'm about to show you guys how my hair was when I first, not when I first started, but years ago when I was using Olaplex versus how my hair is today. So right now I'm just trying to open this up. So make sure you guys subscribe and keep watching the video so that you can see the final results and my little before and after situation we have going on. So this is a video that I made in March, 2021. So I'm showing you guys process and it's in this format because I did put it on IG and I wanna show you guys something. So in a second, you're gonna be able to see that I have a little bit of thinness in the back. There you go. And later on in the video, I'm gonna show you guys how the back of my hair looks now. Bada bing, bada bing. And I'm cute. Olaplex, baby. So now I'm gonna show you guys what I do today. Same process, but we're gonna get into how my hair looks now as far as thickness, growth, all of them good things. But as we can see here, I'm doing good. And this is a year from today. So this is the zero, which is the first step for the treatment. Intensive bond building hair treatment. So, oh shit, it's not spraying. <laughs> so I do have a small issue with this product because it squirts and I would rather it spray so that I can get it more evenly distributed because I feel like I do use a lot of product because um, it only goes into one area versus spraying and getting everywhere, if that makes sense. So you guys can see that I'm still spraying. I've been spraying for a long time. You can see it there. And if it missed it, I will be able to get it more evenly distributed and use less product. So you pin it up and you let it sit for a minimum of 10 minutes. So I just recorded the whole next half of the video of me putting the number three in my hair. I put it on top of the number zero, the two of them together, you know, they do their thing and it gives you like a nice intense treatment. But of course it was a recording because I don't have no date. Can I say that? I don't have no storage on my phone. <sighs> Cause all these videos ruining my life. But I put the number three on top of the zero. And this is where we are with it right now. We're gonna make it sit for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes is the minimum. So of course, if you want an intense, a more intense treatment, you will keep it on for longer, but this is where we are right now. It's damp, it's not soaking wet, and we good over here. We good. Olaplex has not let us down. So, all right, put it back up. You just wanna make sure it's nice and saturated, everything's covered, and yeah. Oh, crap. I'm not even gonna bend down to pick that up. Uh, I'm gonna just put this on. <laughs> we have a technical difficulties, but I'm doing a treatment, so it's kind of hard to, you know, stop and re-go and stop and re-go. But yeah, let us sit, and then we're gonna rinse, you know, and then go. Hi guys, it. I'm Damon. So now, this has been in my hair for about 15 minutes. I do get a lot of shedding, so I like to. Keep it in a little bit longer. You want to make sure the water is cool. You don't want it to be too hot. Um, and this is the number zero and the number three together. And then we're just going to rinse.
So Olaplex also has a cleansing shampoo, which I love to use on my clients, but I don't have that hair. So we're just gonna go in with the regular shampoo. I'm just gonna make sure it's well rinsed. And then we're gonna go on with the number four, bond maintenance shampoo, you know, repairs, strengthens, and nourishes all hair types, all them good things. So, and this actually lathers up very well. So you don't even need too much. You really don't need too much. My ladies that have a lot of hair, a lot of thick hair, you don't need too much. So you wanna focus it on your roots. Focus it on your roots. Cause shampoo is drying, no matter what anybody says. So if your hair is very oily, then yes, you can bring it down through your ends. But because I am not doing a straight style, I don't need to really focus on my ends. When I rinse, it's gonna go through my ends and get whatever out that I need out. And I'll just do a little, you know, nothing too crazy. We're gonna do that two to three times. Water's a little hot. I washed my hair recently, so I'm just gonna do twice. If my hair was extra oily, if I was doing a press, I would do three. So I will start with the cleansing, and then I will go in with that one for two shampoos. So cleansing once, and then the regular shampoo twice. So now we get that lather that we want. My ladies with thicker hair, you want to make sure you divide your hair and you get into those sections. My hair is not that thick, so I can get away without separating it out. And then we rinse. You know how to wash your hair, girl. I don't need to tell you how to wash your hair. I'm just trying to show you that for me, all the plex have not done my hair wrong. If you do it right, you should be fine. If you do not overuse it, if you are somebody that washes your hair every single day, you do not want to use Olaplex every single day. It is kind of like a protein treatment. You do your protein once every one to two months. So you do not want to put Olaplex in your hair every day. Think of it as a noodle. When the noodle is hard, it's easier to snap. Protein strengthens your hair. When your hair is strong and hard, it's easier to snap. So you do not want too much protein. You do not want too much strength. You just need it to be just right, exactly what it's supposed to be. Okay? We're gonna bring it out a little bit. Then we're gonna condition. Oh, damn it. My comb is not in the shower. It's over there on the counter. Condition. You wanna focus the conditioner on the ends. And work your way up. I, I use a lot. I don't really need that much. I didn't need to use that much, but I'm just gonna work it in. And the comb is over on the sink, so I'm just gonna work it in with my hands. 
but of course it'll be a lot better if you comb it through and what I'm gonna do is just leave this in for a little bit I'm gonna pin it up I like to let my conditioner sit any conditioner whatever I'm using and wash my ass rinsing my hair out will be the last thing I do and get out the shower okay Keep my foot on the curtain. It's convenient, you know. We are back. The hair is washed and fresh and so clean and wet. The booty is washed, it's fresh and it's clean. So now the next step is the Bond Smoother. This is a leave-in styling treatment. All right? They also have a number nine, I believe, which is another leave-in. I've never used it. I like this one. The bond smoother. Um, I want to say the other one is a serum. So I do two pumps. Um, it says apply a half a pump to damp hair. I put two. I will say one, um, depending on the fullness of your hair. Go based on the fullness of your hair. My hair is not that full. I could probably get away with one. Um, not that thick. Remember I mentioned the thinness on the back of my hair? It's a lot fuller now. And you just want to work that through. As I said before, you want to concentrate on the ends because the ends has been in your head the longest. So you always want to concentrate any products treatment whatever the case may be on your ends and then work your way up to roots so we comb this through it's a leave-in and we're gonna blow dry this is where we are okay back to business so I have one section left to blow dry and I just want to show you guys what's going on. So we're doing that and yeah. <laughs> We got it together. Now let's get Ooh. some slow mo going. Ooh, yeah. Y'all see it? Y'all see that shine? Get into it. Ooh, yes. Hair, baby. hire me to be a salesperson so last but certainly not least because I love this little thing right here the bonding oil it's not greasy I don't know what it does but I like it <laughs> so I just put it in all the stuff that it does is on the box which I don't have so if you guys are using these products, make sure you read the box. It's like I knew what it did, but I forgot. But I normally put this on before I flat iron, but I'm not going to flat iron today because I'm actually about to put a half wig on. So I'm going to part out my little section that I'm going to leave out and everything else is going to get braided and tucked underneath my wig. So... This is the end of our journey, guys. I know it's so sad, but I'm going to put some videos here for you guys to watch. If you guys enjoyed this one, you know, all my videos are different, but they're very informative. So you guys should watch them. Okay. So 
This is the final product, the final result of me using my Olaplex system. This is all my hair. I've been using Olaplex for years. And this is where we are with it. Okay? This is where we are with it. Am I even in the frame? I don't know. But basically, it goes past my shirts. You see it. You see it. So make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like the video. Toodles.